Hey y'all and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am Evora Bentley, Faith and Wealth Coach, helping us to change our mind so that we can begin to see our world change around us. So this is video number two. Video number two, part two to how frustration is a sign of evolution. So y'all, my plan was to have these videos up on Wednesday. Maybe I'll go ahead and do the one for this week, fitting in some time over the weekend or something. I've had a couple of different stuff going on this week when it comes to insurance. And so I said, man, I came back from the gym and I need to go ahead and get this video in. So if you all have not caught the first video, I'm going to put a picture of it here. Make sure you go back and watch it where I just share my story of when I became frustrated, how I wanted to leave religion when I was 18, but I stayed in it for 20 years, for 20 years. So out of these videos, the most high is leading me to share my story. But the biggest thing in my heart's desire for you to get out of these videos is to make sure you know the most high for yourself. I love what my therapist said. She says the God of my understanding. And so in other words, so many people, religion has told us who the creator is. We'll try to put the creator in the box. We'll tell us, no, if it's this, then it ain't God. No, if it ain't. Let me tell you. So many people are running amok and dealing with so many, you know, frustration and stuff because they are denying their own relationship with God. They are denying how God is speaking to them within them. So this video is to encourage you to get to know the most high for yourself and to know that if you are feeling some type of frustration, then guess what? It's a sign of evolution and it's your sign of evolution for you to listen to the God within to build a relationship and really know who the most high is for yourself. So in this next video, I want to share a story with y'all, right? And I used to be so thirsty for a prophetic word. Do you hear me? I used to be so thirsty for a prophetic word. I mean, used to journal all the time. The most high would speak to me. But what was being spoken to me was so different from what was in the church. It wasn't tradition. So I questioned if it was God. So let me share a story. I went to this church 10 years ago. And um, so some of my family members were members of the church. I went to the church, right? And they told me that was like when you're a first time visitor, you get a prophetic word. Oh, we all I couldn't wait to Sunday. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to go to get a prophetic word because oh God was gonna speak to me. Got a prophetic word. This apostle spoke some profound things that I can't even go back in my journal what God said to me. But remember, I was doubting that God was speaking to me. Right? It's like I always had to have some type of confirmation from some type of title, somebody in church or something like that, right? So, one of the words that the apostle gave me and my family was that God said he is moving you. He's moving you to a new location, right? So, the word was so profound, y'all. This apostle, the spirit was just so on him where he was crying. Tears was coming down and all this kind of stuff. Like the spirit was just on him to give me this word, right? I love the word. They put it on the CD for me, y'all. I played it over and over and over and over again, right? Some months passed. I started going to the church. About maybe six to eight months passed, right? And so y'all know how little kids be talking. So my middle daughter, she maybe was about seven or eight at the time. And she was going around the church and telling people, we moving. Because I had been talking to the girls about moving, right? Y'all didn't even know how this move was going to happen yet. I was packing up my house. Like I was just doing so much by faith and listening to what God was telling me to prepare for this move. So my daughter, she went to church one Sunday. She was like, yeah, we moving, we moving, you know, <laughs> we moving. Y'all, this apostle heard it from my daughter. Didn't hear it from me, a child. He came, the same apostle, 
Now, remind you, this apostle, when I first walked into the church, did nobody know me. This apostle came out his mouth, tears running down, the spirit all on him, and said, God is moving you to a new location. So, the apostle moved, he pulled me to the side and said, yeah, so I heard you moving. And I was like, yeah, well, what are you moving for? da 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 wanted me to give him the whole line. Now, mind you, when he pulled me to the side, I didn't move to like four or five months later, right? This was just what God was speaking to me about. So I'm preparing my children, right? We all in faith and, you know, all this kind of stuff, right? Didn't know my daughter, <laughs> but kids, you know, was going to go out and, um, you know, just saying, start saying, telling people to church. He looks at me and he says, because I couldn't give him the whole road rundown. That's really why. I don't think God is moving you. Y'all, I was so distraught. Do you hear me? After church, I took my kids back home. I went to the park, y'all. And I walked around the park and I cried. And I cried and I cried. And I was like, God, I done got it wrong again. But I thought you said we was moving. But he even came by his own mouth when I first walked into the church. He didn't know me. Y'all, I cried. I cried. My heart was so broken. My spirit was so grieved. Because it was like what he said to me didn't resonate with what I heard within me. Mind you, when I walked into that church, he was confirmation. I had already had a dream that I was moving to another location. Didn't tell them that though. Y'all, the most high woke me up at one o'clock in the morning and had me listen to a message from a pastor I knew. And that message was confirmation for the most high to bring me back. Like saying, I did speak to you about moving. Now I need you to shake this off. And I need you to get with the game plan. Okay? About what I spoke to you about. I remember I asked God, I said, why? You had all these people come to me about these prophetic words. I'm getting sick of them now. Like I started to get so many prophetic words. You know what the most I said to me? I had to send it to the, in the flesh of man to confirm my word that I already spoke to you. Spoke to you. Y'all, God is within. I don't know what religion you came from, your background. But don't let nobody tell you who you know the creator is to you when you know the relationship that you have. So what did this do? This just built another frustration in me. This just got me to a place of seeking God more. And it was also building the trust in the God in me. I didn't really know that. I didn't really understand. But so much that happened back then, understand, makes me understand how I got here today. So this is the second part, y'all. I have so much more to share. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and share this video with someone. And guess what? I look forward to talking to y'all in the next video. And as always, when we change our mind, we would then begin to see our world change around us. Love y'all. Y'all make it a great day on purpose. Peace. Hey, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching part two of Frustration is a Sign of Evolution. I'm just curious to know, have there been a time in your life where something may have happened and you said, oh, I know it's God, but someone came along to convince you that it wasn't? And then the Most High had to bring you back around to confirm that it was. Look, whatever questions you may have for the Most High, the only thing that I can do encourage you to do is ask the questions. Asking questions is how I have been able to understand who the Most High really is and how beautiful, divine, and aligned and predestined this journey for my life has been. So be encouraged, y'all. Make sure y'all again, comment, like, subscribe, and thank you again for tuning in and for being here. Love y'all.